Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I'm gonna be doing a wig application video as well as how I customize this hair. And I'm giving you scalp, honey, scalp, okay? So this wig is from Wig Encounters. It is a pre-made wig. It's a 13 by four lace frontal wig. All the info will be in the description bar down below. So this is what the inside of the wig looks like. And this wig is HD lace. So the lace is super fine and it's gonna melt really nicely into the skin. This is how it looks on the inside. It has a band and it also has two combs on each side. I never ever use the combs, you guys. I find that they're a little bit annoying. So I don't really like the combs. And it also has a comb in the back of the wig as well. So I'm gonna go in and I'm just gonna try the wig on quickly so you guys can see what it looks like. And you guys, when I filmed this video, I actually filmed this video back in august so i was still pregnant when i filmed this video and i'm just uploading it now so this is how the wig looks on my head as you can see the knots are super super fine i do not need to bleach the knots at all however i'm going to take off those little combs because like i said they're very annoying and i don't like the combs on the side i find it so unnecessary and i just feel like they just pull on your edges so i take those off and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do some tweezing just to make the hairline look a little bit more realistic and more natural. This wig does not require a lot of tweezing, but it's gonna look better once you tweeze it. I wanna give it that scalp look so it looks like it's coming straight out of my scalp. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go in with my tweezer and my comb and a water bottle. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and tweeze behind the hairline. You don't wanna tweeze the front of the hairline because you don't wanna have any bald spots. So just part the hair and tweeze behind the hairline. And when I'm tweezing the hair, I like when the hairline is wet. So that's why I use the water bottle. I find that it's a lot easier for me to tweeze. And I'm just taking my time with that. You don't wanna go over the same spots over and over because then that could lead to the bald spots. And you don't wanna have bald spots in your wig. So it didn't require a lot of tweezing. And this is how the wig looks now that I've tweezed it. She looks really good i'm very happy with how the hairline is looking so now i'm going to go in with my scissors and i'm going to go ahead and cut that excess lace off by the ear that's usually the hardest part to cut so just take your time with it and then i'm also hey simba my cat is always in the mix and of course i'm going to do the same thing on the other side as well so go ahead and just take the scissors and cut the sides off i mean when you're applying wig i find that this is just the hardest part to do cut in the lace but once the lace is gone you don't have to worry about it again so it, the application becomes a lot easier now as you can see i went ahead and part the hairline and i'm going to go back in with my tweezer i'm just cutting off some of that excess lace so i'm tweezing behind the hairline once again because i just want the hairline to look very realistic i want to give it that scalp look not bald scalp okay <laughs> Moving right along, I'm gonna go into my foundation powder and I'm just gonna apply this to my wig cap. So I did the ball cap method. Um, if you do the ball cap method, I find that the wig lays, it looks a lot better. Sometimes I don't do it because I get lazy, but if I wanna get that scalp look and I want my wig to look really good, I find that whenever I do this, that's when it looks really good. I do have videos on how I do the ball cap method as well. I will link it in the description bar down below. So, I went ahead and I applied the wig and I used some skin protector on my skin. I used the bowl hole skin protector before I apply the glue. And I'm gonna go in with the glue and I'm just applying it along my forehead area. And I'm just using my rat tail comb to apply the glue. Now I'm gonna go in with my blow dryer on a cool setting and I'm gonna go ahead and dry that glue. You wanna apply the lace once the glue has dried clear, never when the glue is white. And I'm just using some foundation powder on that lace as well. And this is just to match the lace to my skin tone so it blends and melts really nicely. Now add in a second layer of glue. It's really up to you how many layers of glue you want to apply. Some people do seven. That's if they want to wear their wigs a lot longer. I usually wear my wigs for sometimes a day, sometimes a couple days, and sometimes I take them off right after I film videos. So it's really up to you. So now I'm gonna go ahead and pull that lace down onto the glue and honey, this lace was melting down to perfection like she was looking really good i'm going in with a clean rat tail comb and just blending that glue into that lace and going in with my blow dryer on a cool setting To cut my lace, I'm gonna go in with my eyebrow razor and I'm gonna start cutting off the excess lace 
that we won't be needing anymore so i'm just cutting it right along the hairline i like using the eyebrow razor because it's not going to give it like a perfect straight line it's just going to give it the right um cut that i want and then i'm going to go in with my got to be free spray just to help melt down that lace even more and of course i'm going to go in with the rat tail comb and just press it in and guys as i'm melting down this lace i'm like super impressed with this hd lace because it is melting so good so i'm just cutting off the sides as well and i'm going to repeat the same step again cut off all the excess lace and then I'm gonna go in with the glue and I'm apply it along the sides the sides I find that I always need to apply a bit more glue because it lifts really easy right by the ear so I'll add like two to three layers of glue and I'm gonna go in with my blow dryer again on the cool setting and then pulling it down now guys I would have uploaded this video a lot sooner as I mentioned I filmed this video back in August when I was pregnant and I would have uploaded it sooner but because of the pandemic a lot of the vendors did not have HD lace available so that's the reason why I did not upload the video haven't been uploading a lot of colorful hair videos either because of what's going on and the lace industry but I think HD lace are starting to come back in stock so now I'm uploading the video so yeah that's why it took me so long so again I'm doing the same thing on the other side just applying some of the glue and just going in with my rat tail comb you want to apply a thin layer of glue because then it's going to dry a lot faster press that lace down the wig is super versatile you can do a center part side part it's up to you you guys know i love my side part and i'm just creating a part and i'm going to go in with my hot comb i love this hot comb it's my favorite it's from andis not sponsored and I'm gonna go in with the ORS olive oil hair wrap mousse and I'm just gonna apply this this is just gonna help to flatten down the wig it's also gonna help to melt down that lace as well so I apply it onto the hair and I'm gonna go back in with my hot comb and press her down now as for your wig if you want to have baby hair that's up to you girl like it is completely optional do you so i'm going to take out some baby hair and i'm going to go ahead and apply some more mousse so i part the hair where i want my baby hairs and i'm just going to go ahead and wrap the hair with some mousse and i'm doing the same thing on the other side now i don't like my baby hairs to be too big because i just feel like it just looks unnatural on me so i don't like that look i like them to be a little bit more subtle so that's the hair I'm pulling out now. Now, this is how we are going to melt our lace. The mousse has a lot to do with melting. I'm gonna go in with this elastic band and you can use a scarf as well. I'm using an elastic band, doesn't really matter. And I'm just going to tie this around my head and I'm gonna leave this on for 10 minutes. Oops, I left it on and took it off already. <laughs> this is just edited magic. So I did leave it on for 10 minutes and I took it off and this is the result. The lace is perfectly melted on and now I'm gonna go ahead and cut those little stringy pieces of hair and go in with my little edge brush and try to attempt doing some little tiny baby hairs. <laughs> And like I said before guys, I'm not the best when it comes to baby hair, so I just like to keep them subtle. So I'm going to go in with some foundation powder and I'm just going to add it along that part just to make it look a little bit more realistic. I don't like when the part looks too um, perfect either. So I like to go in with some of my spray and just apply some of the hairspray. I don't know what it does to it, but I don't know. It just makes it not look so perfect. And then I'm going to go in with some hairspray at the front of my hair. That's what's going to give it the little bit of volume that I usually have in the front. So that's how I do that. I just apply hairspray and I apply some heat to it and go in with my rat tail comb and give myself a little volume in the front. I'm not going to curl this hair. I'm just going to leave it straight. I'm going to go in with some hair serum. This is the iron hair serum. I use this in all of my wigs. So I apply it into my wigs and I'm going to go in with my Babeless. hope I'm saying that correctly. Babeless flat iron. It's one of my favorite. What am I talking about? It's not one of my favorite. It is my favorite. I've been using this flat iron forever in like all my hair videos so i'm just gonna go ahead and straighten this hair this wig i really really love the hairline the hairline looks bomb like it looks really really natural and this is probably one of my best wig applications you guys i really like this application i feel like i haven't done this application in a while like i said i filmed this in august but i'm gonna attempt to do this again because i really like how this wig turned out so yeah if you guys enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up comment down below let me know what you guys want to see next i know it's been a while since we've done anything dramatic and colorful on this channel but hopefully i will be able to do a colorful hair video very, very soon i love you guys so much and thank you for watching my videos bye